hi guys in this video we will see how can we create multiple chat queues and based on conditions we can route a particular chat to that particular queue so for that I have created two queues uh, just to save the time one is called the USA queue and the another one is called the India queue and as the name suggests all the users who belong to India their chat request will be sent to the India queue and same goes for the USA so, so let me take you to the queues and you can see I have created a queue and a queue number is allotted automatically and when I come down to work routing condition so I have I've chose it to be simple as of now and when you uh, you can see here I can see that I have chose the condition open for so this open for is in the interaction table and it signifies that this particular interaction was open for which particular user that is the end user okay so if the user location dot country is India only then this queue should be activated and chat should be uh, going to this queue and similarly it's for the USA queue and you can see it's a uh, work item routing condition and the location country starts with USA then I will go to groups I've created two groups called India service desk and the US service desk and I have one user in each so you can see here the username is India service desk user and same goes with the US it will be USA service desk user okay and now as a system administrator I will initiate my chat and before doing that I will just show you what's the current location of system administrator you can see the admin belongs to Hyderabad and the country is India so it's whenever system admin initiates a chat the chat should not be routed to the USA service desk only to India service desk I have opened another browser uh, Mozilla and I'll just refresh this again for you guys so you can see here uh, I'm logged in as USA service desk user and uh, I have opened the agent workspace and you can see I have set up my status as available okay let me set up this okay so now on the right hand side I'm logged in as system administrator I will just refresh this again the chat and on the left hand side I'm logged in as service desk user of US okay now the system admin belongs to India so you can see here he he is able to see that no chats agents available right now okay that is because there are no India service desk users available okay and let me go again and impersonate as India service desk user okay and I will refresh the agent workspace screen and it's currently offline I'll make it available so now India service desk user is available and on the right hand side I'll refresh the admin screen and once it comes up we should be able to see a li live agent available so you can see the live agent is available I will initiate a chat and the service desk user can accept the chat and if you haven't seen how can we set up first time agent workspace link is in the description as well and on the top right corner as well so they can start chatting from here and th that that is how simple it is okay moving back to advanced work assignment 
just show you the queues so as I told you earlier in the work item routing condition so that this table is the interaction table so you can have multiple conditions maybe you can have a chat based on the transcript so if you want to route, route the chat based on the transcript of the chat what, what has happened um, previously between the virtual agent and the user so you can uh, opt for that as well you can just have to go here and uh, if you go here and go to the interaction fields and then type transcript okay you can say transcript contains anything okay similarly uh, you have multiple fields here so you can s uh, select as you uh, want okay so this is how we can set up multiple queues and route them according to our conditions let me know in comments if you have any questions thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel